Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be talking about the drop shot. And what is, in my opinion, the best knot for the drop shot. And it's actually not the Palomar knot. Now let me tell you a little bit of history about me and the drop shot. Um, I've been fishing for bass for 40 years. I've only been fishing a drop shot about 10. Now my history of the drop shot, when I started using or seeing people use, you know, the drop shot. Uh, it was on boats and usually it was like video game style, just dropping it straight down. Or a lot of times they would just drift and have it, you know, just straight down. They weren't casting it. They weren't like doing anything other than usually just vertical straight down stuff. Either they saw fish on a graph or something, you know, like the video game style. Or it was in a tournament and the co-angler was just sort of dangling it behind, trying to catch a few that the pro missed. And so I had never, you know, I'm usually a caster and more of a power fisherman. I was like, yeah, well, you know, I don't see the reason. I'm not usually sitting there dropping straight down or anything. I'm usually moving. Didn't see many people casting it. It was just a straight drop. Well, then in 2010, when I started doing the FLWs uh, here in California on the Delta and Clear Lake, I saw a lot of the pros using drop shots and flipping them under docks and flipping them into the reeds and actually like casting them and working them through structure and stuff. And I was like, wow, that thing seems a lot more versatile than I thought. So I was talking to one of the pros and I said, yeah, I mean, you know, I just saw how you guys are working the uh, drop shot and using it differently than I've ever seen it used. And it seems like it has some other purposes for what I could use it for. So how do you, you know, how do you tie on the hook? And so he goes, oh, you do the Palomar knot. And so he showed me how to tie it and do it with the Palomar knot. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I know the Palomar knot. I didn't use it much, but I knew of it. So I'm like, oh, okay. So from that point on, I started using the drop shot. And I would tie the Palomar knot to the hook, but I didn't know anything about drop shot weights or anything. So what I did is I just took the bullet weight and I put a little split shot at the end to hold the line. So yeah, like that. So that was my purpose. And I would tie the uni knot to the split ring. And so that was my basic original setup for the drop shot was Palomar knot at the hook and the uni knot at the weight. Well, for the first two years that I was using this, that was, that was my setup, Palomar to the uni. And I've always said the uni is stronger than the Palomar. You know, there's a lot of debate and people keep, keep I, I don't, I won't go into that, but anyway, one of the issues, one of the issues I always heard in some of the research I did on the Palomar knot is yes, it's really strong, it doesn't slip, but it, ha it cuts into itself. The line cuts into itself. So on really hard pressure, when the line's cutting into itself, uh, it'll cut through and it'll break it. And well, you know, the, the thicker the line, heavier line, if you're using it, you know, straight to a jig or something like that, thicker line. But in the drop shot, most people use lighter line, like a lot of times six to eight pound, I use 12, which a lot of people think is a little heavy. A lot of the Delta on that, when they're around reads that, they should use 15. But anyway, it, it binds itself. So the first two years I was fishing, when I would get snagged, and, and usually on this, I, I nose hook my bait, so my hook isn't exposed. I don't have it like right here, so the hook is out. You know, 90, 95% of the time, your weight's getting caught between a rock or in a, in a, a crook of a branch or a log or something. And what I found is probably 98% of the time it got caught and I'm sitting there pulling on it, pulling on it, pulling on it to break it. It always broke at the hook. I would lose like the whole setup. So after those first two years, one time I went, okay, well, I don't know. I, I've heard that it binds on itself. I heard that and I, it's breaking there. It should break at the weight because the, the weight's the thing that gets nicks and abrasions in it where the weight's going over things and that. So pulling really hard, this part down here, that's rubbing against the rock and that while you're pulling on this should break. Why is it always breaking at the hook? So then I started doing the uni knot on the hook and the uni knot on the split shot. So I had uni to uni, not Palomar to uni. And guess what? I've been fishing it that way for the last eight years and probably 90% of the time when I get snagged and I break off, I only lose the weight. 90, 90 95% of the time I come back with my hook on. It breaks down here, which for me, uh, through my observation, it seemed like that would be the logical place to break because that's going over the rocks. There's, there's not many nicks and abrasions on this because it's usually above. So I went, aha, there we go. I just found a better, stronger 
not for the drop shot because now more majority of the time I'm only losing the weight and I have my hook back where before it was the reverse almost always at the hook and I lost the whole rig. So I said in my opinion and through my observations and having enough statistical data to come up with a hypothesis, a, a, a one of those things you use in stats, but yeah, that, yeah, I, I proved to myself that it is a stronger knot, especially when using thinner line and the polymer digs in itself, it's going to break. Uh, and I proved that just through my history of it. So there you go. That's the uni knot and why, in my opinion, it's a stronger, better knot than the Palomar for your hook on a drop shot. And that said, let me show you how I tie the uni knot on my drop shot rig. Okay, so this is how I tie the uni knot for a drop shot. I mean, it's a little more difficult than the Palomar, but like I said, in my opinion, it's a much stronger knot for the drop shot. And what you do is you start out with your hook pointing, bring the line in from the other side, away from the point. And you put it in there. And then you gotta give yourself enough line so you have enough for your tag end. So what I do is I take it and I turn it around like that. And then uh, I kind of bring it up a ways away. It's, and, uh, but you hold it like that, so it's a double. And then you take your tag end, this end right here, your tag end. You put it through once and pull it up. So you have it like that. Same way you can usually tie the uni knot. And then I just go one more time through, like that, just twice. I only do it twice. And then tighten this down. So you got it like that. You got your loop there. You got it on. And then you pull it tight. I usually uh, grab the hook. And uh, if I can grab it, grab it. Come on, turn it, and then like that, tighten it down. So there you go, that's the first part. You got it on there. So it's on, and then what you do is take your tag end and bring it back and put it through the eye, and then slide her on down. And then right there, bingo, bango, straight in line, you got your drop shot hook tied with the uni knot. And then you got all this tag end here. I only use about usually eight to 10 inches, but you got your tag end and that's the way you tie the uni knot for a drop shot. Okay, there you go. I'm uh I said, in my opinion, and just through my research and my observations over the last 10 years of using this rig, um, yeah, I, I pretty much found out that the uni knot is a stronger knot to use for the drop shot than the Palomar knot. It's a little trickier to tie, it takes a little more time, but I think you will break off less fish either on the hook set or during the fight, especially on lighter, like six to eight pound line. Using the uni knot instead of a polymer knot on your hook on a drop shot. I hope this helps. Until next time.